So you want to break into blockchain development, but you are not already a software developer. Here's five reasons you should not start with Solidity. Reason number one, you need more than Solidity to build an application on the blockchain. All popular dApps have front ends. These dynamic charts we see here on Plasma Finance, that's JavaScript in action. That's not Solidity. On the whole, there's more non-Solidity code than Solidity code in most dApps. You can verify this yourself by going to your favorite dApps code on GitHub. Compare the amount of code in Uniswap's v3 core versus the code in its open source interface. If you dig into this repo, you're going to see a lot of code and it's going to be a combination of TypeScript and React. At the end of the day, if you only know Solidity, there's almost nothing that you can build that's usable to others. JavaScript is going to get you so much further. Number two, there's way more jobs for JavaScript than Solidity, even at blockchain companies. Let's compare the number of jobs tagged as Solidity versus JavaScript on Indeed.com. Solidity. There's almost 3,000 jobs. JavaScript, there's 141,000 jobs. That's a huge difference. Now let's do the same thing on cryptocurrency jobs. Solidity, there's 15 jobs. And most of them are senior, lead, senior, senior, senior. These are not jobs you're going to get for your first software developer job. Now let's search JavaScript. Okay, there's only 13 here, but most of these are not asking for senior and lead roles. These are going to be a lot easier to get if you're just starting out. And they're still at blockchain companies. Here's a job at DYDX for a front-end software engineer. And if you look at the requirements, they're asking for JavaScript, HTML, CSS. And an interest in DeFi and blockchain is just a nice to have. So it would be much easier to get this job if you'd learn JavaScript rather than Solidity. Number three, because Solidity is a new language, there's fewer good resources to learn it. Searching Stack Overflow, we see over 2 million questions tagged as JavaScript. In contrast, Solidity only has 4,000. If you're starting out and you don't yet have an intuition for arrays, hash maps, inheritance, which are common across many languages, it's going to be much easier to learn those for a language that people have been using for a long time. JavaScript, Python, Ruby, Java, they all have an insane amount of resources to learn them. Number four. Solidity is too simple of a language to make you a rock star developer. Every computation in Solidity costs gas, and Ether is so expensive that we don't have much choice but to keep contracts as simple as possible. And according to the latest Solidity developer survey, most Solidity developers have been coding professionally for three years or more, but have only just moved to Solidity within the last year. So don't discount starting your software engineering career with a different language. Number five, with JavaScript, you can build useful projects immediately. You could build a web scraper to grab the latest NFT prices so that you can swoop up undervalued NFTs selling at the floor. In contrast, if you launch a new token with Solidity, it's probably not useful unless you can get thousands of people using it. In the end, the decision is up to you. Let me know in the comments what your first programming language was.